early on a Saturday. Going mining today. KJ Seed's on his way over. Lurks is on the way over. We're meeting Buford on the road. Dusty's out. He uh, texted last night. He couldn't make it. I don't know if he's working. Something going on with the family. Uh, something to do with his outlaw motorcycle gang. I'm not sure. Uh, you can just speculate down below if you want. We'll find out when we see him. Anyway, um, going to do some mining. You see I've got the high banker set up right there. And right there may or may not be a dry land dredge nozzle with some hose and a uh, pump right there. Anyway, can't tell you where we're going or even what state we're going to. So uh, stick around for some video, though. While we're waiting for KJC, this is KJC set, brought it over last night. KJC's little sissy pump, it's like one inch. His nozzle, look at that, choke down. KJC not moving much material. It's kind of the girly pump. Over here, the manly pump. Two inch, two inch hose, two inch nozzle. This is just on here for, to protect the threads. Manly stuff right there. Shout out to h &B Mining in Grass Valley, uh, California. They're the ones that make these dry line dredge nozzles. If you're looking for them, uh, look Sam up and uh, let him know you need one. h &B Mining, Grass Valley, California. These things are sweet. KGC showed up, lurked, driving himself. We tried to explain it to him. But KGC, you didn't know this. Lurch tells me when he gets here this morning that he was gonna buy himself the new high banker because he saw one on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace yeah, or something right. for 600 bucks or something like that. Pretty good deal, I haven't seen it, but it might be a good deal. Anyway, Lurch says he can't do that because he bought, wait for it, golf clubs. I said, Lurch, why did you buy golf clubs, dude? I've got a kid set in the house that <laughs> Buck used. You could have just had them. He had nothing. Complete waste of money. Okay. All right, KJC, okay, we were just talking about this. Okay. Lurst informs me next weekend he's out. Why? I'm going golfing. You called it, Mr. Rogers. Hey, KJC, yeah, you are Mr. Rogers with your shoes. Where's your little, your, what is that, that cardigan sweater and all that other? Yeah, if it was a little cooler, I'm sure you'd have that. No. no. Lurch going golfing. Lurch, are you wearing the outfit, dude? The little, the little short freaking pants and all that, no. all that business? No. Why not? Well, yeah, why not? Why not? Not a, not a, I, I don't dress like that. Well, come on, man. No. no. Well, no I mean, I'll probably be out there in my boots. Yeah, I mean, he is playing with the kids' clubs. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll see you in the mini golf course, pal. <laughs> oh, KJC trying to get into the claim, hitting rocks. Jesus. you got to put some shocks on this thing, man. What the hell's going on here? There are shocks on this thing. Yeah, I can tell. Golly, look at this. Washboard. Let out, not washboard. That's freaking smooth, dude. We got roads in California that are better than this. Come on. Really? This is bad. Well, someday we'll get here when we get above two miles an hour. All right, so we're set up and running. KJC over there. I got my pump in here. Maybe for doing some metal detecting. Goes from the pickup through the pump, up the lay flat to the nozzle, out of the nozzle into the high banker. Here's what we're doing. Might get a little loud here, so you might not be able to hear, but we're basically shooting water out of this nozzle, washing all the stuff into this little gully here, and then sucking it up with a nozzle. We'll give it a shot here, see if I can do it with one hand. I don't trust Buford with the camera. Might break it. So you can see what we're doing here. All that stuff is washed down into this hole. We're gonna back the water off a little bit and just suck that up. And there you go. Just like that. Rinse and repeat. Dry land dredging. KJC is still getting his dredge on. He's got an autopilot. This is KJC and he's lazy. KJC not lazy. You're on autopilot, pal. Might be on some dirt. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we've been getting a shale. I'm moving to a new location down here to my left. KJC already worked over there. You can see you got a bunch of shale. Might actually be in some dirt here. Look at that. We'll see what happens. Buford, he's dug about 50 bullets. Buford. I think it's a piece of it's a piece of land. Oh, you sure? There it is. What is it? It's shot. 
Oh, uh, yep, piece of bullet or something, huh? There you go. That's it. Yep, Buford thought he was on the gold, called everybody over. Oh, I got something. <laughs> yeah, no. Nice try, Buford. Nope, lots of bullets here. All right, I put lurch on the nozzle. Let's see what's going on. Just kind of washing that dirt down and then just sucking it up with the nozzle. Works great. Beats digging. That in turn. That turn is coming back into here. That drops through into there. And that's where the gold ends up, we hope. Buford, do what Buford does, supervising. That's the two inch man nozzle. Look at the size of that. Over here, KJC with the little inch and a whatever that is. What size is that lay flat? Inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter. With the inch and a quarter girly girly hose and the girly girly pump. Oh, and he's got the girly girly nozzle. That's not a two inch nozzle, is it? Or is it? Yes, it is. It is? Yeah. Yeah, but you got it all choked down. Okay, you see playing in the clay. All right, story time with Buford. Buford on our trip last week. Tell us what happened. Well, first tell us about the gas experience because that's, that's a lesson that everyone that owns a Ford diesel can learn from. Uh, I don't think it matters if it's a Ford. Oh, it doesn't? It does no. have the same setup. It's, oh. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, if you, if you own a diesel, pay attention. New diesels that take death fluid, don't, don't be like me and go to the truck stop and think that you're gonna just top off your death fluid. Reach over and put it right in the diesel tank. Truck ran, I put one gallon of death fluid straight into the diesel tank. Truck ran about two minutes in on idle as I pulled out of this truck stop and then it just shut down right there. Oil, fuel water separator was full. Everything went red on the, on the dashboard and it, it was done. And then um, uh, yeah, I had to get uh, towed and drain, had to get everything drained and they had to blow out all the fuel lines and change my filters and then it, but then it runs great. So, it's so, you, lo so you lost a day. I lost a day on the trip and, and 500 and, and bucks I donated 500 bucks to a small town in Idaho to these two brothers that own a, a mechanic shop. So and I'm, and I'm sure they appreciate shout that. Shout out to the CV brothers. If you, uh, if you, there you go, they got me fixed. Yeah. 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 Um, don't, don't be like Buford. All right. So tell us why you were in this going through the small town in Idaho where you had the deaf experience. Well, after you go through Idaho, you come back into Oregon and you end up at an LDMA camp. Blue Bucket, Oregon is what it's called. And um, there we were uh, high banking uh, ancient river channel that, uh, that LDMA had dug out of, the, out of the hillside basically and brought to us. So we shoveled uh, many yards of dirt uh, into, into the high bankers, um, which I got some video on. We can hook that up somehow. And uh, did okay. I was hoping for big. I was hoping for bigger stuff, but uh, um, got a good gram plus coming through the high bankers, and then um, won some gold. And I left with two grams total. Not bad. So, would you go again? Uh, I would go again. I I've heard that the vein there that they were digging out of this area that we drove up there, you can four wheel drive up to the top of the hill. Um, the members that are full time up there were talked about that in the you know in years past sometimes it's really rich sometimes it was kind of like this, but I did as well as anybody or better so it felt pretty good. Cool. Got KJC running my running my dredge nozzle now. Buford, what do you think? I got KJC working for me now. This is perfect. It is, isn't it? Perfect. Hey, get back! Come on, man, suck that up. He's slacking. What is this over here? I think that's clay. It's hard to tell. It looks like a clay. KJC back to work. Oh. Lurch headed on an expedition. Says he found a mine. Never know. We might have to send a search and rescue for him in about half an hour. KJC went looking, found some dirt. Says it's, says it's the best dirt he's seen. Look at that. Sandy. He's going to pan it. This takes him about half an hour to pan this little yeah. bit, so we'll check back. Ten minutes later... 30 minutes later, KJC's finally panned that little bit of stuff. What do you got, KJC? A lot of black sand, a lot of white sand, but uh, no color. Nothing. No, but there's this is like the top two inches. Nothing in it, though, is there? No, but it's a lot better looking than this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I think it's just rock. No, I don't think so. I don't think it is. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Strike out. But I'd rather run over there for an hour a and a half. A for effort. Quick overview. That's the pond we were running off of around there to the left. Here's another pond right here. KJC moved over and he's working right there. Buford. There's another pond back over there. I think there's one over there. Lurch is out there somewhere. Said so he saw a mine on his mine app and grabbed his metal detector and took off. Hopefully we don't have to send a search party for him, but we'll give him a little while, see if he shows up. He usually pops back up like a hemorrhoid. Pretty freaking cool though. Look at that, still some snow up in the mountains. We're at about, uh, I think we're about 3,500 feet right here, maybe 3,700. Perfect day though. A little breezy, but shorts and t-shirt weather. Can't beat it. Me and Buford just chilling out, watching KJC do work. What'd you find KJC, nothing yet? I'm not looking at the bottom. It's dirty at least, it isn't that white water you were getting before. Dirt and sand, there's rock. Yeah. We'll find out. Lurch, Lurch is back. What'd you get? Ooh, look at that. 1800 shovel. You might be right. Look at that, Buford. What do you think? Oh. What's that? Some sort of an old pry bar. Oh, I do think this is 1800s. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. That is cool, dude. Uh oh, he's got a whole bunch. Where's your metal detector? Over by my spot where I'm still digging. How far away from here is it? Uh, this was found a long ways away, but this, this and all the square nails are very close. Did you find that mine? Ooh! Ooh, that's a big square nail. Look at that. What is that? Looks like a, that looks like a... Oh, what? I almost want to say it's one of those things for lifting the burners out, but I don't think it is. If you know what this is, comment down below. Let we'll us know what he found here. Someone's got to know what this is. It's kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that early American pull tab. Very nice. There's something else I had. Where'd it go? There it is. Lurch lost all the good stuff? No. No, there's the good stuff. Ooh, what is that? I am not sure. All right, Lurch, did you know what that is too? Check that out. You got you got better stuff than KDC. KGC's got over here. He's just playing in the mud. It's another spoon type section with a hole in the middle though. Yeah, I think you might have something similar in both things. This may be broken. This yeah. has the hook. This has the J hook on it. Interesting. See what that, if you know what those are, let us know. Or even if you want to speculate, let us know. Lurch also got a couple of bullets here. We're not sure what that is. It's pretty big. That's 22. That one looks pretty big. KJC got his crater over here. Look at that. That's what's here. KJC yeah. moved a little bit. That's <laughs> that looks like the best material we've moved today. Look at look at the rock he's got down there. That's almost like river gravel right there. So Ooh. we'll see what he's found. It's another day. KJC, look at that. Working on the taco challenge. How many are you in right now? Huh? How many are you in? Number two. That's number we're two. We're, we're, two. Four, we're four weeks we're away. Two. Yeah. We're four weeks yeah. away. He's in training. He's in training. <laughs> that's it. He's in training. He's, how are you doing today? He's only, he's only doing four, but that, that's just a snack. He's going to go home and have dinner in a little while. Yes. So, yeah, this is just a snack. He's doing four, yeah. but he's doing fast. He is. Dude, we've only been here like, I don't know, 45 <laughs> seconds. He's already got, got two down. I got them on my third. Wait a minute. Lurch, are you trying to say you're going to step I up and take on the KGC this, Taco Challenge? Oh, look, oh, look at that. Oh, look, look, at, that. That. look, look at, that. that. at that. Breaking news. Lurch is going to join the Taco <laughs> Challenge. KGC, what do you think? He's halfway to a blender. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not blending. You can't. You can't blend them, dude. These are tacos. You can't blend Street them. Tacos we're not blending tacos. them. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Th those are nothing. KJ, you want KJC hard hard shells better, but he wants street tacos. He'll go street tacos. He'll put you. He's gonna bury you, dude. But you know, respect the oh, effort. No. All right. So we're on our way back. Just hit the taco tree. Taco tree always a win. Anyway, while we were there, we found out that Dusty's not with us today because today is Dusty's birthday. He didn't want to tell us, apparently. I don't know why. Maybe he didn't want KJC to smack him on the ass or something. I'm not sure. But happy birthday, Dusty. Happy birthday. So that's why he's not with us. We're going to give him a pass on that because it is his birthday. Not, not much of a pass, but we're going to let him pass on this one. So he's not in jail. He's not working. Well, he might be working. We don't know. If you have to work on your birthday, that sucks. But uh, 
I don't know. I work on my birthday. Anyway, you work on your birthday, can't you see? Try not to. Try not to, but well, you get a lot of time off because they give you a lot of time off. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's why he's not with us. So we're giving Dusty a pass. Happy birthday, dude. All right, clean out from today with the dry land dredge. Here's the cons. We'll just do a quick knock down, see what's in there. If there's a lot of wind noise in this thing. I apologize. It's blowing probably 25 miles an hour here all of a sudden. Pretty high fire danger too up in the hills. Seeing a little black sand, which is more than we saw when we were running. Let's just do a quick shake down here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that gold, folks. Look at that. That's some chunky gold right there, isn't it? Look at that. Well, I'm gonna get KJC. All right, I brought in KJC because he was in the garage fixing his shit with my tools. Fixing your shit. Fixing my stuff with his tool, with my tools, whatever, it's free labor. Anyway, you guys saw it, he has it. You haven't seen this, have you? No. Okay, disclaimer, he's not seen this yet. Ooh, I think I see it now. Okay, so this is the second trip to this place. First trip we didn't, we struck out. But this time, look at that, look at that, KJC, Ooh. you see it? I see two of them. Two of them, nothing, dude. Come on, you passed the third grade. Three, yeah, come on. Four, this is, five, holy yeah, crap. Yeah, dude, this is like seventh grade math. Come on. Wow. Look at that. There's another one. Look at that. Woo. Huh? Time to get all that junk out of there. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll it pan off. it down. Yep, we'll pan this down. We'll get a uh, we'll get a photograph at the end of the whole cleanup. All right, KJC, what do you got? Let's see. Uh, super fine. Little specks everywhere. Nowhere near what you got. No, but you but got. There's. But I got like almost zero black sand, and you got a ton of black there's sand. More over here. Oh yeah, I can see it. I don't know if it shows up in the video, but yeah, there's a lot. But, but you got you got all that black. I hardly got any black sand, but I got the gold. And this was like what, 15 minutes running? Yeah. So maybe that spot would have held more if you'd have kept working. Yeah. Yep. Well, that wraps up the video. Uh, found a little bit of gold, but considering we were trying a completely new method, that uh, dry land dredging, um, I'm happy with it. We're going to get back up to that same spot probably in the uh, very near future and uh, see if we can find some more. Since I think at that last spot, I moved that thing a couple of times that you really didn't see in the video, but uh, it's a little bit of a, a project to pick up and move that whole dry land setup, but I did move it. And uh, that second location was where I was finding that gold, I'm certain. Uh, there's a ton of more material that we didn't get just because we were running short on time. We had summer, we had a bee, so we had a hard out uh, of like 12.30, so we had a split. Anyway, we'll get back up there soon. Uh, of course, we'll get it on video. Hopefully, we'll get the rest of the crew up there with us, uh, and uh, maybe we can all find something. So, appreciate you watching. Appreciate if you would subscribe. Appreciate if you would share this video with one friend. And uh, we'll get up to a thousand subscribers and uh, start doing some really cool stuff. Plus, we got a thousand subscriber uh, KJC giveaway. Don't forget about that. You got to like the channel. And uh, as long as you're liked on the channel, we'll put up a post. We'll hit a thousand. Everybody will comment on it. We'll let comments run for a couple of days. We'll uh, randomly pick somebody and uh, send them the box. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll get some more fishing stuff out there too, real soon for you guys that uh, want to see that. We couldn't get out today. It was super windy again today. So. Uh, we uh, called it quits on that, and we're working on the fence in the yard. Not very exciting stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. KJC, quick preview. Warming up for the taco challenge. Yeah. He's just putting away three right here, but he's going rice, beans, and he's already on like his third basket of chips. He's pacing himself. He's been here 10 minutes.